All right, guys, thank you for tuning in today. My name is Mackenzie, and this is a very beautiful 69 Firebird. Um, you might see the badge on the hood. You might have seen the title. This has got a hot 455 in it. Tune in with us as we go through the car, give you the tour, and of course, take you for a ride with us. So the 69 Firebird here is actually pretty near and dear to myself. This is the first muscle car, classic muscle car, that I had ever owned. Not this particular one, but one similar. It wasn't quite this good looking. The paint wasn't this nice. It certainly didn't have a 455. Mine was a 350 car. But I love these things. I've had a lot of fun in them. If you haven't had one before, you're going to love it. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to pop the hood for you. If I remember, that is right under this nose here. There we go. And this one here has got some pretty tasteful upgrades. This is a 455 that's been bored 30 over. We got a big aluminum Edelbrock intake on there, a nice four barrel with the electric choke, and Good news, guys. This motor has recently been um, uh, refreshed, if you will. So there's a lot of new bearings in here, a fresh cam. Um, I see brand new exhaust gaskets on here, um, even these tall valve covers. Everything looks really sharp. You notice we got some good looking hardware. Those look like new spark plugs and boots all over the place. We got some nice stainless hose clamps. This looks to be like new fuel line, a new belt. Someone was, uh, someone was taking care of their ride here. We even have uh, a very slick looking, set of three inch thick aluminum radiator, which is sweet. Still uses the factory polar fan through that, but kick ass. It even looks good through these two grills we got up front. Um, as well, we have disc brakes all the way around. They're drilled and slotted. And this big brake booster back here makes those feel like you're driving a new sports car. They're very nice. Um, and those are some new components. We have power steering and a lot of power out of this 455. There isn't much more to say. It's gonna do all of the, the talking on its own once we get a chop in here. I'm gonna close this up. These hoods are super, super cool. Um, when it comes to GM in 1969, this is you know the same chassis as a Camaro, right? Um, but this one got a couple different cool features. Obviously the front end is totally unique. Um, the hood, totally unique. The hips are just a, a little bit sharper. I like the gills they added. This is a very, very cool car. And that's why I had to have one uh, not too long ago. So it's pretty damn slick. This is sitting on a, a hot set of Riddler wheels. We got some new tires. And like I mentioned before, you see those drilled and slotted disc brakes shining through there. I like, a, I like a Firebird with a little bit of dish. If you look back here, those look pretty damn flush and give this thing a hot stance, no doubt. Um, this is a really cool touch out. This is kind of that satin or matte black finish on there on that tail panel. These tail lights are sweet. This little uh, duckbill spoiler, if you will, is awesome. Got some keys here. I'm gonna pop this open for you. Um, pretty straightforward um, trunk compartment here. It's a nice black carpet. We've got the spare tire right in the center. I noticed this looks like a brand new seal. Underneath here, everything's painted and in pretty darn nice shape. Yeah, even all the metal everywhere looks really good. Peel this up for you a bit. There is a, all looks like factory floor pan in here. Uh, no signs of anything being reworked, which is always a plus. And our little bird down here. Our bumper looks good. If you get low enough, you will see that uh, we got dual stainless tips coming out the back. Those are three inch tips and you're gonna hear it in a little while here. It sounds very, very good. Um, right up top through here, if you could see it, I don't know if the lighting will agree with us. 
Uh, we got some nice Pioneer sounds. This does have a newer head unit in here for the, the radio. Door gaps look tight. Car is flat and flush. Mirrors are looking solid. All the bright work, all the little pieces that bring it all together, all good and firm and shoot, it's damn pretty. This one too, it's got both its wipers on it. They look like some nice chrome pieces. There's some new rubber on them too. Hell yeah, hell yeah. so fun um, total sports car muscle car not too big of a body though it's very nimble you can see where you're at um, a couple of bumps in the hood the 455 edge these things are really really hot I've fallen in love before I'm kind of doing it again um, first impressions motor is very torquey that's very good we've got a, a set of flow masters really sound good with this Pontiac motor um, yeah, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy as a, a kid in candy store here. It drives really smooth. You can see we're taking a couple of bumps down. It takes them all very well. The alignment's good. Braking, those disc brakes. Uh, I wish I had that on mine. These feel really, really good. Um, what else can I say here? It's a smooth, smooth ride. The interior of this car feels mostly original. Um, it's all in good shape. I don't see any tears or rips. Um, just sitting in here, feeling everything. It's good and plush, but I believe it to be some uh, old school stuff, which is cool. Um, we do have a newer radio in here, like I mentioned a moment ago. I'll settle down on my gas pedal here for a moment. I don't know how well you all can hear that with the, uh, the radio and everything going, but this does have an aux input, so you can plug your phone and play all that jazz. It's 455, what do you expect? Before we get back to the shop here and say goodbye, I wanted to run through a couple last bits of the interior. Things like the headliner, these visors. As I spend more time in here, I think, damn, it's all really nice. I gotta point it out. Um, it's really tight everywhere. That back seat too looks very good. Very, very smooth. We got a wood grain, a little console here tray up there and a couple of our other controls. My speedometer is working and I believe it's pretty accurate since we're over 50 now. We've got a, a clock here going and then on the left hand side is where you see your temp, your uh, generator, alternator light and then your uh, oil light as well. Hey guys thank you for tuning in and checking this out with us today. If you made it to this point in the video please feel free to like and subscribe. Also if you want to know anything more about this car here, dial up this number, click the link below. It's going to be 248-714-2110. My name is Mackenzie. This is our LaFontaine Classic Showroom here in Milford. We ship them, we finance them, anything you need. Dial us up, check out the link in the description. That's going to take you to the website with all the pictures. Thank you guys again. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.